hi and welcome back to my channel today we're going to make some pockets with these envelopes <coughs> now i've seen this <coughs> excuse me i've seen this um done on pamit paper outpost she made these pockets so i'll link her below and you can go over and um check out what she's done and I thought I would do this in different colored envelopes and different sizes just to give it a little bit of a pop um, I want to arrange them I think like this so you can see the different size flaps like that and So they're going to, oh no, that's, I forgot it the wrong way around. Um, like this. So they're going to sit together like that and they'll become a book, a little booklet. And then there'll be pockets in here that you can open up. Now, I want to include some of um, the Wattle Baby um, paper um maybe on the flaps but um pam used a piece of fabric so i'm going to cut a strip of fabric from this fat quarter um that i can put down the center of this and i was going to cut it with a uh, I might just tear it. And then the other piece isn't torn, is it? I'll see if I can tear that. There we go. And just grab off whatever's coming over. Um, sorry about that. Just pick off what's fraying. Yeah, that looks pretty. All right, so what we want to do, I'll just move that, that out of the way now. So is that the right way up? That's the right way up. Now where's my glue? I hope you're all well and happy. Um, I'm starting to feel a little bit better but I'll get there all right so we're going to just put a line of this is just fabric glue from here now I think I think she left a, a little gap in hers small gap in the middle so we're just going to stack them like that it's just a small gap in the middle so that it can bend I better stick this fabric down It's sort of like a little spine, I guess, in the book. You know, you do it a similar way. Alright. Now, our next coloured envelope. I wanted to, um, I did want to, um, Put some color on them too so maybe i should not go any further until i can just um maybe add some color to that um, Yeah, 
Yeah, that looks nice. I should wrap up my my mat, I think. Do it on that. So this is going to go inside our journal. I'm not sure where. I'm not sure whether I'll actually stick it down or um, just use it as a, f a free floating thing yet. I'm not quite sure. So the next one that goes on is the white one. I'm going to stick that just a little bit uh, well that goes yeah just a little bit um, off the edge pickle so that one there I think he's oh I think he's barking at the TV. He's taken up his guard dog duties. Hey. Alright, and I want to do the flap on that as well. So I might do this one yellow. I suppose you could do these while um, before you start gluing and then my last one is a green envelope and you can do these with any size envelopes it's a good way of using up I mean I think it looks prettiest with the the triangle um, envelopes but it's a good way of using up your envelopes because I seem to have a, quite a few now so it's um great to get some different ideas Right, now let's move that out. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here. Just a little bit. Close that up. <coughs> and then bring this down. And I didn't think, did I? I made it up the right way on the outside but not the inside. I wonder if we can just cut a little bit. I think we could. Just so it's up the right way. wrong pickle I haven't taken him up the back yet he's probably wanting to go out for his walk but daddy will be home soon he can take you all right yes because that one's cut on a zigzag I think we'll do the same for this one so we can get our fabric nice in the middle 
things just about there. And I guess this is just a little, just a little ephemera pocket. You can put your bits and pieces in. Alright, before I do that, I might, I don't really love the colour of these green envelopes, but I might put a bit of just shading on the edge just to, yeah, bring that colour back a little bit. You can see it's going to uh, just change the colour slightly, um, turn it into a, a nicer green than a a weird Christmas green because <laughs> that's what it looks like at the moment looks like a weird Christmas green it's a bit hard to see on camera but that does look a lot nicer than what it was Yeah, so I don't know about you whether you've been to the Dubbo Zoo, but oh, wow, it's changed. I um, I got to see some photos at least, and we took the kids there when our kids were oh, I think Beth would have been about ten. It was the last time we went there, and it's just so different. But I guess it's got to change in that time, doesn't it? Somehow. Oh, next time I'll get to go to the zoo. <laughs> so that's the right way up. Yep. That's enough. Yeah. So let's put that on. That's cute, isn't it? And then when it folds up, that fabric acts as a little like um, seam. Uh, sorry, a, a binder. Like a. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Book binder. Uh, <laughs> hey, that's enough. Enough. All right, so you can go ahead then and you can decorate all your little pockets. I'm going to just um, keep... Um, shh. Actually, I might... Um, I was going to put some of this on there on one of them anyway I don't know yet I don't know I haven't really thought thought it out let's put some color on here let's change this khaki green I my cute scratch paper too. Oh, I like keeping my scratch papers. Alright, what can we put on these now? Now, I've got, oh, I've got some stenciling. And I taped up some of the bits that I didn't want to get everywhere. So why don't we put some of that on here, it's got my yellow, and 
Yeah, that's a good boy. Love your ears. Let's put my green. And then I want to put some... And this is a tiny stencil. Tiny, tiny stencil. It's actually quite hard to use. And... That looks cute. Might put just a little bit more yellow around here because I just missed the mark on a couple of... Well, that looks cute on one flap. We'll do the same over on the other side. I think I might put that green down first. Pickle and pickle it's enough. That looks cute. So we've got that on two of the flaps. Um, let's put a little, we could put a little picture on these ones. That could look cute too. That's enough. And they were just punched out. Oh, I got two there. How did I get two? Hmm. So I'll put a little. That's gonna just cover it up. I need my rubber glue. Got a lot of glue on that then. So I want to try and just cover it up just Alright and I had another one I'll put on this side. That looks cute. And you open that up. And then you open that. And then you can get into that one as well. And then what will we put on these front flaps? Something pretty. Um, I've got... Um, where did I put that? I've got my tab punches and I might um I might cut some um tabs out. See how that looks. I'm gonna cut it into that one. See whatever um leftover pictures I've got just been really enjoying like using my punches to punch them out and then all your little accessories matching so let's put a little bit of glue on these and turn them into some some tabs so I can put a tab on there
Oh, that looks cute. And then I punched one out earlier of the owl. And put it on the opposite side. Like that. Let's get some glue off there. What's that? And there that I spilt. Oh, yuck. Don't know what that was. It's a bit gooby, isn't it? So we've got little tabs on there. Um, I've got some other tabs here. <laughs> Look at his little bottom. <laughs> oh, these are so cute. So cute. I'm going to just stick it together and then unstick it and I'll have enough glue. And then put a little tab on here with his bottom. Oh, wrong side. That one's cute. Where did I cut that out from? So if you want to, um, this tab punch, this is a new one for me. If you want to, um, because it just punches out that shape, but if you want to punch it out so that it, um, so that it's got a fold, you want to just make a little fold strip first, like this, and then feed it back into the punch with the fold strip um, facing out. I can get it. <laughs> There you go and then I'm going to make sure I leave a little gap up here so that I catch that fold like that and that's given me a, a tab that's got the fold already in it look at his little bottom <laughs> all right so I'm just going to put that one that's enough what are you whinging about I'm going to put this one on here on the opposite side of the other one that I did um, let's get rid of any glue the one doesn't have a picture on it Well, that looks quite cute I could um yeah I don't know whether I'll put it in free free um standing like that or I don't know what I did there which is a bit of a hey get off me is that I could put another picture on there to hide that um, I've got a couple more pictures here. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Looks like they're peeping out all over the place. And this one down here. So that's pretty cute isn't it I like the um, stenciling in there and then you can just go ahead and fill it up with each little envelope you fill that up with things so that's another fun thing we can add to that I um, don't know that would probably would have looked nice on it too but I won't we won't cover it with that I might just leave it or yeah I'm not sure all right that looks pretty cool 
So we can go ahead and have a look at that in the journal. <coughs> My journal's here. Because we were still talking about pockets, weren't we? to protect her face and I think we're up to the third the third part in this journal because we've done a lot quite a lot of pockets beforehand so We've got a few pockets in here. Is that a pocket? Yeah. It's, well, no, that's not a pocket. <laughs> and I've got my glasses on too. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> um, oh, that's a little pull-out thing. You know, we're nearly finished this. We're nearly up to just these last decorations. I've, um, I've got quite a few pockets in it already and I just wanted to see so you could just have it free free standing like that and tuck it in tuck it in a pocket like that that could be nice I might just end up doing something like that because I've already got um, these envelopes which I talked about and, and this little book as well so they've all got to go in it and so that's got a pocket either side where was I up to and I remember I forgot to make a pocket I, I might have been in my last video I mentioned I was going to make a pocket and I didn't do it oh this was our our box one wasn't it that we made in the last video and then we put a pocket there yeah and I think that's where we were up to see here's a little top tuck you know I could sit it in there with the um with paper clip I'm looking around and I can't see the paper clip container <coughs> Anyway, I'll just sit it in there for now. Um, this one here. This one here. Let's... What are my... They're my... They're my... Um, embossed folders. That I got out. And I know I've got my big shot switch but I just wanted to wake up wake up my cuddle bug and say hello again I haven't um say hello I haven't used you for a while I don't know what what shims I used for it ah, I used to use this cuddle bug so much all right So everything's a bit ew, everything feels like it needs a good clean if I can remember what sandwich to put it through it's been so long oh, yeah. whoa I think it's awake now <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, let's see how that went. Oh, okay. Wow, it sort of cracked it. I guess it could have something to do with the paint, but I like it. That's um, that's strange that. Alright, let's put something over the top of it. What about a... 
But you were brown. Where did all my colours go? Can you see that? Well, the brown didn't really do anything, did it? Oh, that's better. Okay. That's nicer. It's just... It might take a little bit to dry. So that shows up quite nice. Might um put a little bit more over here. It's sort of oh because this paper's um I know the paint that I used on my gel plate was um I think it was gloss or semi gloss like that but it's soaked in it's soaked in and it's given it a nice um let's see if I can just get a little bit of that back off all right so let's use it for a pocket um let's do a triangle one I'm just going to move you along, little doggy. Yeah, I might just fold that back. Like that. I might yeah, I'll put it on here alright so I'll just take out that little corner because it's just going to add bulk in that corner and get you in the picture there we go so that's another pocket added in there and that will like a little pocket like that There's nothing under there. There isn't either. Hold that down for a second. All right. And excuse my heavy, heavy breathing again. <laughs> oh, I'll make myself off. I might just take that out for now because um yeah um it's just weird I, I lay down at night time and I feel okay and then I get up in the morning and I'm just 
it's just like a roller coaster all over again it's just horrible absolutely horrible Ugh. so what do we got here oh there's a pocket there I must have went ahead and put some pockets in a third one because there's a thin pocket there with two thin pockets this one I put a belly band on that there was just a few of these envelope annoying envelope flaps that I had to fix up let's just put a nice straight pocket on that one Yeah, I found I have to keep myself busy so that's why I take the dog for a walk and that helps clear my lungs as well because um the doctor said to breathe really deep just to keep those bottom parts of my lungs working so I didn't know don't end up with pneumonia I didn't realize you could get pneumonia and not you know not know it crazy So I'll go ahead and I'll put some stamping on that one as well. So what have I got here? Pockets here. Got a thin pocket there. Oh no, they're two thin pockets. It's with a picture wrapped around that one. You can see that. And what done here? Oh, I've put a pocket in there. I'll put a big pocket there. It's like a side tuck that one. Uh, and another pocket here so I've got plenty of pockets now I think um, some of them are just um, they're not anything to write home about they're just pockets you know um, what if what if we use a piece of this fabric that could look nice I'll just put my scissors there and um, make a belly band where's the torn side oh I'm getting a bit hot in here let's just take my jumper off don't want to get cold either so let's put a belly band in here I think we as soon as it turned winter here it was winter <laughs> like what we would get in the dead of winter and here it's like it's a strange place See, I think I've told you before it just gets really wet it's like it's it's wet season here in winter down here in Victoria and it just gets really wet which is um a tad annoying because it's oh it's just it's just relentless it doesn't give up you know that wet cold feeling all right let's put a bit of everything goes damp the moss starts growing on everything hope I cut this straight yeah I cut it straight oh it needs more glue on it It rains coming down again. 
when we oh, was it 2019 yeah when we went round Australia this country was in drought El Nino was different and it was so sad to see when on our way back through Mildura and places like that it was just a dust bowl absolute dust bowl but we're not in drought now that's for sure So we'll just put a belly band on there and that's like a pocket tuck pocket thing let's try and pull it tight That is so cute. So we've got a belly band there. This here, I think we might put some writing lines on that. Where's my lines called? Um, it's a good day to craft anyway. Should get in here and do, do a little bit more before I call it a day that's cute um where did my stamps go oh, I could put a um Put a little cute. This little oval I punched here. So you don't have to use circle punches, you can use other shapes to just add little features to things. Um, I love using my punches. Space. Oh, that's off a of book pay. That was off a of book spine. Snuggle pot and cuddle pie. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? Right, I think we've got one more. One more little of these annoying. Oh, that's a little book. Just a little um, tea dyed pages that I put there. Yeah, it's this one, I think. I have to put something on that. What will we put on you? Alright, I've got... I've got that. That could, um... Be a good pocket to don't. Um, I'll just put glue here. here and there and something can be tucked into that and it sticks I'll show you what I mean Okay, so you can just tuck something in like that. So something little when it all sticks down. <laughs> I'm not sure whether that will because they're shiny. It's not shiny on both sides. Alright, I'll come back and I'll check that to see if it's working properly. Isn't this beautiful? I just love this spread too. 
absolutely beautiful now there's one spare spare page at the back which I don't um what about I'll just sit that there and let's scratch through some of these these are just so pretty oh, that was the thing we just made see that was the um just the off pulls you know of the the gel plate ones that I wasn't meaning to you know put anything pretty on um, They were double, oh, okay, I don't want the double-sided ones. See, here's an envelope. You could make that into a... Yeah, I've got to think about that. This is the other piece of this pretty one. Um, this orange one okay, you can see the sheen in this let's just put a tuck let's just tear this down and let's just put a nice tuck in there I want to cover up it's a bit more but make sure when you're doing all this you keep all your little scraps because the, um was it yesterday I think it was yesterday I sat down with my glue book and I put some more pages in I think when um is it Joey Joey do first she was talking about that um when when it's uh you you know you're stuck for to do something um just sit down and glue pages in so I did this page and that page this page look at that was used with a book spine and I'll just cut these up later and use them as tags or or um, journal cards. So I did them. So I've got quite a few in there now. All I do is glue the page together and then glue the scraps on. So let's get this in. And I think I'll call that a day. And I'll come back and we'll start doing um, journal cards, tags, and making it making it all pretty like that. All right. So this is what we made today. I hope you enjoyed that. Pop over to Pam at the Paper Outpost. Check out hers. Um, and yeah, if you've enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you here with me. Um, like and share. And um, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.